Hello everyone, and um, my name is Ifia Apia of the 1991 Year Group. It is my pleasure to be here with an amazing Hobson, who we are so very well pleased with, who we are very proud of. And um, I'll leave her to introduce herself. Hi, my name is Professor Nana Abba Apia Amfo. I'm of the 1988 Year Group, Hobson 88, and uh, happy anniversary to all of us. So, you know, definitely this 75th anniversary as part of our celebrations, our virtual celebrations, um, we are featuring Hobsons who have made their mark in all sectors. And today we are featuring Professor Nanaba, um, who is an educator par excellence, an administrator par excellence. And currently you are the... I'm currently the Pro Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs at the University of Ghana, the premier university of the country. Yes, definitely. There are, there are lots of universities, but there is one university. And I am, I am proud to also have gone to the University of Ghana after um, my stint in Holy Child School. So, um, Nanaba, tell us. Talk to us, since Holy Child School, what has been the journey? So after my secondary education, I came to the University of Ghana for my bachelor's. I did a combined major in French and linguistics. Uh, after that, I did my master's in linguistics and MPhil in linguistics. Uh, it was after my MPhil in linguistics in 2001 that I came back to Ghana. My MPhil was, was at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. So I came back to Ghana and I started to lecture here at the Department of Linguistics, University of Ghana. Um, in 2004, I went back to the Norwegian University of Science and Technology for my PhD, graduating in 2007. And then I returned to the University of Ghana to continue teaching. And that same year, I was promoted to senior lecturer. And then in 20, 2011, I was promoted as associate professor of linguistics. Then in 2017, I became a professor, sometimes you say a full professor of linguistics. Uh, in between, I, I got married, uh, actually soon after my first degree, <laughs> I got married and actually on 8th March, uh, it will be 24 years since I got married. So happy anniversary to us. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got married, I, I had kids, I had my first son actually before I started my master's. So when he was four months old i started my master's so i have uh, one kid for every degree that i have interestingly enough interestingly enough you are um everyone who knows you everyone who knows you knows that nanaba is not sitting on her laurels at all and so we've had the pleasure of um of following your progress um in the University of Ghana. Can you take us through that? All right, so I've so far talked about my teaching, uh, but here at the university, I've been involved in research and I've been involved in administration. Actually, the fact that I got promoted when I did get the promotion was, was the result of uh, my research output, mostly the result of my research output. Uh, I've been involved in university administration also. Uh, I was head of department of linguistics uh, from 2013 to 2014. Then I became the founding dean of the School of Languages. Uh, from 2014 to 2019, and then I became the Pro Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs. And so all of these is in addition to the numerous board and committee work that I have been involved here at the University of Ghana. Uh, as a result of my uh, research work too, I have been recognized inter internationally. 
uh, I'm involved in a number of professional association. Uh, in 2017, I was elected to serve on the consultation board of the International Pragmatics Association. And that made me the first African in, in Africa and in the diaspora to serve on the consultation board. Uh, I was also the president of the Linguistics Association of Ghana. Uh, I think that was from 2010 to 2014. Uh, I have also been elected as an executive committee member and assistant uh, secretary of the executive committee of uh, film, which is the uh, it's, it's, it's an association of uh, language and literature uh, scholars and it's, it's, it's actually is affiliated to UNESCO. And yeah, so some these are some of the <laughs> and um, well, uh, to have gotten where you are right now, and I'm sure there are some things that um, some things that nudge you, some things that move you, some things that um, are your stepping stones to success. And um, just give us give us a few. Well, I I think that uh, I discovered what I loved. Uh, quite early during my undergraduate days and so before I completed the first year I knew that I was going to stay with linguistics for a long time to come and so that's an important point discovering what you love uh, because then you do it with pleasure you're not even thinking about the gains you are just doing it with a pleasure and ultimately you get the gains uh, another thing which is important for career success is consistency. Uh, I say that uh, PhD is not necessarily for the smartest person. Uh, yeah, you need to get some smartest, some smartness, but it's not necessarily for the smartest person, but it is for the consistent person. Uh, that's how research is. You have to be consistent in what you are doing because it is the little things that you do daily which accumulate and then uh, end up in the great games. Uh, you have to be, uh, I'm also quite naturally disciplined and because if you have to juggle a number of things like most women have to do, taking care of the home, taking care of children, taking care of aging parents, uh, whatever it is, plus the other social, uh, cultural and religious activities that we all love to engage ourselves in. You have to be disciplined to decide whatever is priority at a given point in time so that you are able to organize yourself very well. And then one of my favorites is that as women, we should not hesitate to ask for help. You cannot do it all by yourself. And so do not hesitate to ask for help. Find help. You may find that in a friend. You may find that in a spouse. You may find that in a mother or an auntie. And so just find help. It may be paid help, yes, get it. Or it may be help which has been volunteered by a friend or a relative. Yes, definitely. And you know, I always like to chip in, mental health is always key. Mental health is always key, and sometimes the help that you seek might be your saving grace because it will save you from going totally bonkers. And um, my actually final question, Anaba, right now is: We're here right now, 25 years from now, and what are we looking to see in ourselves? Looking to see in the femalehood? Looking to see because as as um, as you would know and attest to being a woman in position as yourself doesn't come easily and being a relatively young woman in your position also has its challenges and i do remember before you became the pro vc of course i was i was a gog with um glee and i kept asking is it going to be nanaba is it going to people were like yeah, you know she's too young she's too so definitely um what are we looking at seeing in 25 years I think that the, 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 the value that the education we receive at Holy Child uh, has is that it makes us strong women, 
it makes us women who uh, look at things from various dimensions and that is what you need to succeed as a woman in today's world you cannot be single dimensional you need to look at things from various dimensions you need to be able to juggle a number of things at the same time and you need to keep yourself above water because um, no matter what you do you always uh, get people thinking that you shouldn't be in the space that you are especially professionally because indeed it's still a man's world but we should not be intimidated uh, by that uh, we should make sure that we discover our gifts, we nurture those gifts because that is what will pave the way for us and we need to remain consistent and always go for the good. <laughs> and in, 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 in everything we should remember that it's actions not words, factor not words.